six-figure income down to minimum wage. It's brought us pretty close together. He has dedicated his life to some very special kids. The smiles that we put on these kids' faces makes a world of difference. They've all weathered some unexpected events. It was the parking garage where we were getting married. But none of them were ready for this. <laughs> you ready for this? All right, a little about me. I'm recently married. Bye. I work with my wife on this show, and I'm learning how to be a dad to two amazing kids in a blended family. <laughs> I'm hosting a talk show because there's a lot to talk about. This is the adventure. Let's go. Up next, a storm hit. The wedding planner went MIA. The bride got sick, and the minister got drunk. Can we help fix this wedding fiasco? We'll be right back. We're blowing it out with surprises today, ambushing deserving people with some special stuff. Recently, Hurricane Sandy devastated the East Coast, and people around the world have rallied together with the aid of the Red Cross to help the residents recover from their loss. And in addition to the tragic loss of lives and truly unbelievable devastation, Many plans were also put on hold. Schools had to be closed. Halloween was postponed for the kids. Weddings were canceled. Well, Amanda knows that kind of disappointment when it comes to weddings all too well. Four years ago, a tropical storm wreaked havoc on their wedding day. Roll it. Amanda and David thought they'd planned the island wedding of their dreams. That, unfortunately, is not exactly with a tropical storm brewing, an outdoor wedding was out of the question. So their coordinator arranged another venue option. She said, I've got this open location in the condo, so we kind of said, all right, that's fine. They never imagined what the backup plan was. I walked with my dad out to the parking garage. <laughs> And that's the moment I realized it was officially the parking garage where we were getting married. And with their families lined up between the parking lanes, they set about having their wedding. It's dark because there's no lights in the bottom of this parking garage. We've got candles for what we can. I wish I could say the ceremony went smoothly, but even that was a bit of a mess. I mean, did I mention that the minister was wearing pleated jean shorts? <laughs> And then he announced us in the wrong name. That was supposed to be the McClatchies. The stress got to be too much for Amanda. At that point, my stomach really hurt, and so I went upstairs, changed out of my wedding dress into my sweatsuit, and then we cut the cake. We all stood around in the parking garage in disbelief as to what just happened and questioning our, did we just get married? Did this really <laughs> just happen? David and Amanda are here. Welcome, you guys. At what point in did you officially start to think, okay, this is not going to happen? Well, I mean, that morning when we got up, we knew the weather was not right. You know, we were trying to do pictures and crazy winds, but we couldn't get a hold of the wedding coordinator, and that's when I started to get a little bit nervous. So we just went ahead and did a lot of pictures, but it was officially time for the wedding to start, and that was the first moment we had seen her all day long. Really? So you yes. made the first, the first bad choice was this wedding planner. Apparently. It didn't, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now, so part of you must be trying to keep things going, but also be looking at Amanda and saying, it's, it'll be okay no matter what, it'll be okay. Yeah, basically, I mean, she was kind of, we kind of set her in the uh, resort restaurant um, you know, so she could have some water and a little bit of food because this, this evening kept dragging on while me and my family and my friends are out in 50 mile per hour winds and the rain in our suits and our dresses, moving chairs and tables and this entire setup from the beach over the dune, it's probably 100, 200 yards into the bottom of what we you know, find out is the parking from garage. The beach to the parking garage. Yes. From sand to oil stains. Yes. <laughs> and so the, clearly, not only was the coordinator not there, there was no chance that they had a backup plan. 
No, yeah. she came in, she sat us down, and she said, I think the best option is for everyone to come back. And I sort of... Who says that? Right. <laughs> Somebody that doesn't have a backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Yes. I mean, since everyone flew there, I really, I was like, that's not an option, so what's next? And that's when she sold us on the open space in, in the resort. <laughs> Did you get sick on top of it? So I was, I know now it was probably nerves, yeah. but I just kept increasingly being like, I'm going to get sick, I'm going to get sick, I've got to get out of my wedding dress, because I was like, it's too tight, it's constricting. What are the parents saying? You they know. were probably saying the least, because they, yeah. it's their day too, let's be honest. And it was, in talking to my dad later, he was like, that was awful. You know, I mean, at the time, nobody wanted to say anything. Like, you know, it's when someone doesn't want to tell you you've got a bad haircut. It's like, no one wanted to really make us feel bad. But later, it was like, I had to walk you down the aisle in a parking garage. Like, that was pretty awful. Through all of this, you still, you still have this one thing connecting you, right? I mean, the love is what it was about, mm -hmm. yes. right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you didn't, you never saw this as a sign. The universe <laughs> no. is saying, don't get married. <laughs> Literally, when it was finally 9 p.m. and it was dark and we hadn't started the ceremony, I said, I don't care. I don't know what it looks like. We're getting married. We flew here to get married. Everybody go sit in whatever seats you have set up That's that I have not seen and walk down that aisle. I mean, it, can, it can only get better from there. Of course. Right. And you yeah. guys right. look You've very happy today. Nowhere to go but up. <laughs> so I have an idea. Just go with me on this. And you can say no. I happen to be an ordained minister um, through the Universal Life Church. Uh, do you guys want to do, do a little like official, unofficial redo? Sure. Yeah. You're up for it? Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, that's great, because we've actually planned for that, hoping you would say yes. In fact, we have Renee Strauss here from TLC's Brides of Beverly Hills, which airs Friday nights at 10 o'clock, and we really do want to do this. So, here's what we've done. We've set up our wedding, our uh, party room into a wedding area, all right? And Renee is here. She brought a bunch of dresses. She's like the queen of this stuff, helping you get ready. What did you bring exactly? I bought gorgeous dresses, and I have to tell you, I'm listening to your story. When brides look for wedding gowns and they agonize, I always tell them, this is the easy part. It's getting married that's the hard part, and being married that's the hard part. And in your case, it's really true. It was so really hard. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, so they have, they have all the good stuff. Now we're just going to have a little fun. Of so you course. have some dresses. You brought some champagne. Yes. So Amanda can have a little drink, choose something to wear. Yes. And then we have seating for 40 people. So this is your choice now. No offense to the audience. We will either pick our 40 best audience members. <laughs> or, or it's your wedding. You can say, you know what? It'll just be the three of us. And we can keep it private and they can watch. I think just the three just of us. Just the, the three of us. Best. I'm sorry, guys. And the pronunciation of the name is? McClatchy. The McClatchy's <laughs> will get married again awesome. when we come back. This is a sexy Wexy. Very fitted. Whoopsie. Very sculpted. Let me see your physique here. All right, we're ready to start our wedding do of our first time doing this on the talk show. We have Amanda looking beautiful, by the way. Thank you. David is here. David, we, we kind of broke one of the rules in that he can kind of see you because you guys have already been married. We just yeah. want to lay this out. So you're going to come walking. Who walked you down? My the, dad. Your dad. Oh, we should have thought of that. Oh, well. Turns out we did. Here are your parents. Come on out. <laughs> Got all the parents here. Come on out, guys. Can't do a wedding redo without <laughs> the folks. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. I feel like we're in the receiving line. All right, take a spot. Dad, you'll stay back here, of course. Amanda, how are you feeling? Good. You ready for this? Yes. This is your official wedding redo. Love it. Start the music, Brian. Thanks, Dad. You can have a seat. All 
All right. So here's what I know about you guys from our long friendship. <laughs> that you were in your first job out of college. You had a friend. She had a boyfriend. She said, my boyfriend's friend is very hot. <laughs> and you said, well, you can't date him. Why don't you, why don't you hook him up with me? Yep. So you guys go to this party, but you don't talk. You're too shy. I'm pretty shy. <laughs> but you're noticing each other. Yeah. OK, so a few hours goes by. Not a lot said. A few weeks later, finally, the first date. And what I'm learning is part of your style, you go hit golf balls and have ice cream. Correct. So you clearly it's like... It's a perfect first date. Yeah. And you like the outdoors, which you got a great taste of on your wedding. Yes, we did. Uh -huh. And he kept talking about, I'm going to propose to you when you run your first marathon. I'm going to get a hot air balloon. I'm going to... And instead, one day on Christmas before dawn, he asked you to marry him, but not with a ring. Yes. With, with, with the necklace. With the necklace. Yes. Because he wanted you guys to choose that together? Yeah. Yes. It was pretty amazing. It was definitely his style to not want to make the decision alone. <laughs> so it was great. And then you had this tumultuous wedding, which we've heard all about. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there was one thing that was keeping you uh, sort of true through all this, which was really all jokes aside today about all the funny stuff that happened. Really, it's not about the wedding, right? Mm -hmm. No. It's about the person yeah. and the commitment and the intention behind the commitment. So right now, and if anybody at home, if you're with your partner and you want to renew your vows, you can do it with us right now because that's what we're doing. So it's been, what, four years? Yes. Yep. So David, I am vested by the state of California and the Universal Church of Life, which for $35, you too can do it home <laughs> to do this. So do you once again take this woman, Amanda, to be your wife. I certainly do. And Amanda, after four years, this is a chance to get out. <laughs> do you take David to be your husband? I absolutely do. It is my proud honor, and I hope I do this right, because the last minister <laughs> blew the name to officially present the McClatchies. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> Let it fall! We spare no expense at the Jeff Probe Show. We have a beautiful wedding cake coming out. Bring it out. <laughs> and I love that you guys said you wanted nobody here but family, so that's what you got. Yes. Family plus Renee, who did this beautiful dress. The wedding cake is made by Cupcake Couture in Manhattan Beach to go along with your champagne from One Hope Wine. Everything nice, and there is one more bit of this before you go smash his face in that cake, which I hope you do. <laughs> Living Social is giving you a really cool honeymoon at Hawks K Island Resort in the Florida Keys. Do not go during hurricane season. <laughs> it's a four night stay in a premium lanai guest room with massages, awesome. cruise, romantic dinner. We love that you guys told your story. We love that we got to be a part of it. Congratulations and continued happiness. Thank you. Yes, now thank you. you may step up and take a bite of that cake if you want or shove anybody's face into it. <laughs> up next, a real Housewives of Beverly Hills surprise that even stopped TMZ in their tracks. Let's do it, family. <laughs> you guys are great sports.